Hello everybody, how you doing? Paul the Trombone is here. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to just, you know, answer some questions from some people. And this first question comes from a username. I love Internet Table. It's an amazing uh, username. I love Internet Table. So I just wanted to answer this question. Okay, it goes like this. Let me give you it for you. Dear Paul the Trombonist, can you please make a video on how to play the trombone? I really enjoyed your videos and I think it would be nice if there was a video where you taught some trombone playing. Thank you so much. I clicked email me for each new upload so next time a video comes out I will be notified. Thank you so much, I love internet table. So I will describe for you how to play the trombone. I know a lot of my subscribers here are already trombone players, so you don't have to watch this video if you don't want to watch this video. You, or you could watch it, or whatever you want to do is fine with me. So first order of business, in playing any wind instrument, the most important thing is air. That's why they call it a wind instrument. If they didn't call it a wind instrument, uh, maybe that's the reason. So, we need to use the air properly. So that's the most important thing. Second most important thing is everything that goes on is going to go on on the mouthpiece. The most important stuff that goes on in playing the horn is this mouthpiece. This right here is where all the magic happens. This right here is just an amplifier of the magic. So the first thing is about the buzz. You want the buzz to be going. And the way I would describe a buzz is like, okay, you can do this. If you can do this, a lot of people can do that. If you can't, give it a shot, go like that, okay? And then also, so you do that. And then all you want to do is tighten it up a bit. Like that kind of sound is the sound you're going to want, okay? And then all you do is you put that sound combined with this sound. And then everything that goes on is just, this is just going to amplify this. Technically, you could practice on this mouthpiece all day long and just one day learn where the slide positions are to the notes and just be a monster player because really it's all about developing the muscles here and creating a proper buzz and being able to navigate your air efficiently through the different registers of the horn in the most efficient way possible. So here we go. So to check it out. So you hear that note? There you go. Now, one thing you may be wondering what how what the trombone is like. What is this thing right here? I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's got this slide, right? Okay. We all are familiar with the valved instruments. You got like you got like a trumpet. It's got the valves. All the other brass instruments have valves. All those valves are doing are replicating what the trombone does, okay? It's just replicating what the trombone does. And when you change the different valves, all it's doing is changing the length of the tubing of those instruments. So different combinations of the valves are changing the length of the tubing the air has to go to change the pitch. So, for example, like open um, on a valve instrument is like first position. And then there are these notes that resonate. You know like a conch shell? Whatever you call it that you see in the ocean, and when you buzz on it, it will only vibrate at certain pitches because that's the natural fundamental frequency that the that the the horn will resonate at at certain air speeds. So there are what we call in the musical world they're called partials. So here are the partials in in let's say the first position. First, I want to say uh, there are seven positions on the trombone. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, okay? So here are all the different partials 
They're the same interval distance for each slide position. So here they are. All those notes are in all the positions. And so on for seven of those, seven of those positions. So basically, and it just goes down in half step. Half step in, is the shortest distance between two pitches in Western music. And if, you, if I was to advise someone that wanted to learn trombone, I would just get comfortable doing long tones because it's all about the air. It's all about getting a, a sound. And long tones are basically just sustaining one note. So if I was going to first do trombone, I'd probably just, you know, maybe work on a B flat, concert B flat. <laughs> I would just hold it out, you know, make sure the air's steady, get a nice pitch going on with it, and then I would just go from there. I'll probably make more of these little videos. You know, this video's already like six minutes long, so I can't like be going farther than this. I also want to say a couple more things before I leave. A uh, couple people have made comments about... Um, saying that I might be a little bit creepy. I don't know what you're talking about. So, also, I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. I just did this Lady Gaga thing last week with a fine trumpet player, uh, Mike Rocha is his name, and we did Lady Gaga and I arranged a version of it in a new different way. Check it out on my channel. You know, subscribe to my channel and click um, email me for each new upload. That's why uh, you'll be the first to know when a new video comes out. I also did, you know, Journeys Don't Stop Believing for a trombone uh, quartet going on. I got all kinds of stuff going on on the channel. And, you know, feel free to, to stop by anytime. I appreciate all the comments and the people that were uh, coming back and I want to thank the user I love internet table for for that question about the uh, trombone and how to play it. <laughs>